We have a sentient battle by QB of the GOTW clan playing as Parthia on the left. His opponent is COH clan Shenanas or Sean. Most commonly known as Shenanas, who likes bananas. It's got a four round shield here. Gold, gold, I think. So two on each flank, those are Sacred Band Cavalry, Heavy Cav, and he's got his six slinger standard set up. Gold, gold, no Laric Slingers. I think that was just so he had more money to get uh, an effective Cav and Infantry Force. Didn't want to take any shortcuts with those. Especially the Sacred Band, he definitely wanted to get gold, gold on those, which is what he got. That's his most powerful asset. Against the hordes of Cataphrac, two peasants here, no upgrades. These will be gold attack at the least. That's Persian Cav, not the common HA. So these ones have got okay melee stats as well. Not always most cost effective in 15k, which I'm presuming this battle is. Hubei's army has six normal archers. These will be two slingers in the front. Got gold. The archers are gold. Gold. One. <coughs> one camel rider, or one camel rather, cataphrac. Gold. Gold. And then these are five horse cataphracts in total. One peasant unit. So it looks like the round shield up the back have taken some casualty from the Persian cataphly. Ideally, you should have those in lice, but I don't think he likes putting them in lice. A little bit of a risk if you command them to charge. Sometimes you can't get them to engage type formation quick enough or properly. Not sure what he's doing with that. Oh, there is two peasants. He's just trying to push the archers back, trying to get that slinger out of range. Which is what he's trying to do with his sacred band as well, which have pretty good missile defense. Let's to watch that peasant that doesn't get charged by the Persian cab that will wipe it out pretty quickly. I think he's trying to use the slow speed of the cataphracts to his advantage here, to Carthage's advantage here, knowing he can out micro them <coughs> and retreat quick enough. It's a pretty bold maneuver Carthage is doing here, considering. May lose one or two there. He's going on the other flank with his heavy calf. Got two against one there, so he should be able to route that. This is putting Carthage's slingers at an advantage because he's got the archers retreating, which means they'll get extra kills twice as fast. Taking out that Persian cavalry. Seems to have still all his round shield numbers, I think. May lose a heavy cab there. He's lost one. He's got a rallied heavy cab up the back here. He's going to try and retreat these guys and take out the Parthia Parthi missiles on the other flank, I guess. He'll take out those in unison, I think. Camel's going to run straight through the pike, manage to abort it. He's going to lose a lot of slingers on the Carthaginian side. Pretty much neutralized each other's archers. 
which is okay for Carthage. That's what he was trying to do from the beginning, basically neutralize the skirmish threat. So we can camp with his remaining infantry. Those cataphracts are going to tire pretty quickly, which will put Parthia at a disadvantage. It's got two round shield against one slinger over here. He only really needs one chasing that. But I think he's concentrating elsewhere. He's going to lose this sacred band here. It's going to go defensive with his pikes now. Got more relic slinger. They're going to be pretty much useless now. Not enough numbers to inflict much on the cataphract side. Looks like he's going to lose some round shield on this side. He's trying to withdraw them, I think. That's bam. That might get a little bit of a morale bonus against the horses as well. That camel definitely gets a combat bonus. No more slingers in play for either side, no more missiles in play. This Persian cap looks like it's out of ammunition. These two should rally. So basically just be cataphracts versus sacred band infantry and some round shield left. Cataphracts looking particularly tired here. Needs a break, needs a kick cut. They look like uh, robotic mech warriors or something. Camel mech warriors. Mission break formation here. I think he's trying his luck with the fatigue of the cataphracts here, seeing if he can catch them. Basically, all their stats get reduced when they're tired and they become really ineffective in, in combat, in melee. So if you can take advantage of that, you can uh, enhance your chances of winning a lot if you can catch them. These two round ship would be still useful for a rear strike once the cataphracts are engaged with the sacred band infantry. So I guess he's going to camp here to regain stamina, so I'll just go trip speed for this. It's going hedgehog formation. This round should have hidden. I don't think his ally is going to forget about them though. A 
if you want to send in a replay, all the details are on the Total War TV forum. Also, you can send it in for any of the Total Wars, Empire, Shogun, Medieval, Napoleon, any of the expansions as well if you want. But, uh, if I get a big flood of people submitting replays, obviously I'm only going to pick the best ones or the ones that are most watchworthy, so probably no point wasting your time sending in mediocre replays. Also, you can send in tournament replays as well. Most comical unit in the game. So he's got fresh on the infantry, these guys are fresh now. So we got maximum combat effect. Ideally, he wants to charge from all angles, but I think he's going to try and break the formation so he can get in there. Steamroll, which won't work if he swings all the infantry around to face the charge, which he should be doing about now. There may not have been information enough there to uh, have blocked that charge. Probably took slightly more casualties than he would have if he got them information quick enough. See a Rome Total War bug over here. This guy's doing air combat, air jiu jitsu. Good game, stay tuned.